today I'm going to be teaching about plants in space. And this is a picture of a zinnia grown on by astronauts in the International Space Station. Why do we need to grow plants in space? Because we need to grow food full of nutrients and vitamins for astronauts to be healthy on long missions in space. How do we grow plants in space? Plants are grown in space in the vegetable production system, also known as the veggie system. And this picture shows the veggie system. Veggie system. The veggie system has different parts. Number one, plant pillars. Number two, red and blue lights. Number three, water delivery system. Oops. I am new to science. Today I'm going to teach you about plants in space. And this is called the veggie system. The veggie system has three components. Plant pillows, red and blue lights, and the water delivery system. Inside a plant pillow is fertilizer and soil build that transfers nutrients to the wick. And once we start adding water, then it'll grow into this plant, and which is a small plant. And eventually it'll grow into a big plant. Plant pillows are important because without them, roots will be growing everywhere because there's no gravity in space. Fine. This for, no, picture number one shows how oh, the seed is put inside the absorbent wick. Picture number two shows how the plant is growing from the plant pillow. And the third picture shows how the water is put in to the plant pillows for the plants to grow. Plants grown in space. Astronauts have already grown red and romaine lettuce and zinnia flowers in space. The plants are grow Chinese cabbage and cherry tomatoes next. And this picture shows three astronauts eating red romaine lettuce. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Hope you liked it. Great job, Deb. Wow. That was so awesome. I loved that. Well, I know I've got lots of questions. Um, but if you if you don't mind, if you could stop sharing for us, um, that way we can see your face. And I wanted to see if any of our um, of our um, any of our other innovation hour friends that want to ask their questions first, because I don't want to hog up all the time. Um, I see Chen Mai has a question for you. Go ahead, Chen Mai. Uh, how are which planets are they able to grow plants in space, and which plants are they still working on how to grow? It's normally about how plants can grow in space, but it's not about what planet they can grow on. So you were asking that, Chimai, you asked about planets they could grow on, not the type of plants? No, like uh, which type of planets can, uh, can they 
can the plants already grow on and which are they still figuring out how to grow on uh, which planets are they figuring out mm. okay oh you, you can say your same answer again deb if you want uh my project isn't about what planets they can and grow on. It's about how they can grow in space. Right. Um, because the astronauts that you were researching, they were growing it in the space station, right? That was where I saw your, um, they, a lot of your pictures and stuff, right? Okay. Yeah, that would make sense since we haven't um, been to any other planets yet <laughs> um, that we maybe don't know that answer yet, Chinmay. So that might be a reason why um, their astronauts are trying to do this just at the space station first, um, since that's where the longest voyages are for astronauts, right? Well, we've been to the moon. Yeah, but that's not a planet. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, I have two things. Um. So you can actually uh, grow um, uh, uh, plants on the moon, but we're not sure yet. But um, there, but they do have a prediction. If if you have like you can make a greenhouse and then grow plants on there. Oh, cool. So and my I have a question, is, Deb. When you were doing your research. Um, and you learned about the plant pillows, which was something I had never heard of before. In fact, I, that was brand new to me, that and the wick. Um, that was very, very interesting to me. So um, did they discover that they had to create plant pillows? Because when the, the first time they tried to grow plants, they noticed that the roots were everywhere. <laughs> did you see pictures of that? Uh, no, because... No, but I heard it in research. Okay, cool. Um, and so you had said that only so far, the only ones they've been able to grow like from a seed have been the zinnia flower and the um, the the lettuce or the romaine, red romaine. Um, okay, um, and then I had one more question and then Surya, did you have a question? Still, your hand was still up. Uh, yes. I, okay. I was, uh, okay. Are there any other types of plants that uh, will grow in space? I couldn't hear you say it a little louder. Uh, are there any um, more plants uh, that were grown in outer space? They're planning to grow some more. Chinese cabbage, and I don't remember what they're called. The cherry tomatoes? Cherry tomatoes. Um, and I have one more question that goes with that. So I know that you said they're planning on growing those other two, and they've already successfully grown the two that you shared. Um, do you know, and it's okay if you ha didn't do this part of the research, but do you know if they have been, been able to bring adult plants of other types of plants up to space? Um, they've survived up there or they didn't have to grow them from a seed, but they brought them up as an adult plant and they kept alive or did, or did you happen to see any information on that? Uh, certainly no. Okay. <laughs> no worries. Well, maybe we can maybe we can look into that. Well, thank you so much, Deb. That was a great presentation, guys. If y'all could unmute, let's give him a round of applause. Good job, Deb. All right. Way to be our very first presenter. Okay.